Well, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at our square concrete uh, open water base. Uh, this is a open water base and as opposed to some of the other bases you saw where you have the, the closed off system. This has that open water. Now keep in mind anytime you have open water there's going to be more maintenance involved than with the closed system. That's one of the reasons we sell so many of the closed systems. But sometimes uh, this could be in a, in a spot where it's really not uh, adding much maintenance to it. So if you've got it in an area where it's not going to get a lot of debris, leaves falling off trees or blooms or things like that, if you've got an area where you can set it and not get a lot of that uh, debris getting into it, then the maintaining this is not bad at all. Um, you can see little pieces of debris like that's in there. Uh, if you've got a, a aquarium net, that's the best thing to kind of get in there and scoop it out with. So if you've got it in a more sheltered, sheltered area, then this is fine for that. I certainly wouldn't put this out in the garden somewhere to where you're going to just have a lot of debris in there. You'll be cleaning it out all the time. I don't want to do that. So uh, the advantage of this is it is a different look. It has that open water. You can put, you know, you can put lights down in here, down in the water itself. So we have fountain lights that you can submerge. Uh, up lighting on this and then the light on the inside is what we do. Virtually any jar, just about any jar that we have can go on this system. You can ask us about it. If you see a jar on the website that you love and we don't show it on this base, doesn't mean it can't be put on here. Just that we can't show every jar that we have on, on the base. That would take up uh, take a lot of time to do that. So ask us about it. We can get you a price on it. Uh, the advantage, like I said, on this is the open water. Sometimes people want to have that open water. It's a different look. Uh, it is a good look. I, I'd say that the disappearing fountain system too, I love the stone covering. But also see having this open water look is a, an advantage in a lot of areas. This is kind of contemporary, the square on it. Uh, also, uh, the jar that goes in there, you can kind of use, pick up a jar that maybe has some dark in it to kind of match this. This is black, so it is kind of a neutral color, so just about any color is going to go in there. But if you have something like this, you can see the contrast here. You have that copper color, and you got that black. It's very modern looking when you do that. Now, some of the rustic jars, they can go in here too. Uh, being black, it is more neutral. So uh, it's gonna fit with just about anything that we offer. Even some of the bowl fountains can go in this, and that's something you have to ask us about if you like one of the bowl fountains. That'll be a lower setup, and uh, it'll most of them will work on here. Not all of them, but most of them will. Right now, I'll grab the camera and show you a post kind of a rustic um, even though it's uh, black and contemporary you can see it's kind of got uneven edges so you can kind of see I hope you can see that in there it is a rubberized coating on that to make it waterproof and we're applying that here to make it waterproof the base that it's sitting on uh, it's a pretty wide base there you can see just about in the jars we're gonna work on that base Easy to set up. We do have it elevated there. Some we've got it set up on a couple of pavers. You don't have to do that. I think it kind of looks neat to do it that way. So we did do it there. It also adds a little bit of height to it, but it's not something that you certainly have to do. Uh, it can go. It can go out into the garden, even though I said, if it, like I said, debris could be an issue out in an area like that. So I think uh, on a patio, a deck, things like that, or areas where debris is less of an issue, would be the best spot for it. As always, you can reach us at five four zero. 948-2239 or email me kenny at southerngraceva.com.